And so there they were on the dromedaris in Table Bay. Jan van Riebeek immediately put his mother and his friend into the rowing boat of the dromedaris. He filled the rowing boat with important things for their survival, a map of the world, a Dutch flag, lots of vegetables in case they were hungry. He also took with him the cactus of separate development, which you must remember was on the deck of the dromedaris on its way to Brazil. <laughs> Imagine if this cactus had got to Brazil the ANC would have been the government of Brazil. <laughs> Although looking at the Brazilian economy and corruption, maybe the ANC is the government of Brazil. Jan van Riebeek rode to the shore, setting foot on Woodstock Beach. And once again from our history classes, here is the picture, the famous picture of Jan van Riebeek bringing civilization to South Africa on the 6th of April, 1652. And you can't believe us. You can't blame us. You've got to accept that we thought this was real, Mesa. It was part of our lives. I mean, you can see, there's Devil's Peak, ne? Daar staan Jan van Riebeek, belangrijk in sy groot swart hoed, die big black hat, surrounded by all the other Dutchmen from the Dromedaris, van Graan, van Eden, van de Merwe en van de Beil. Daar staan Harry die Hottendot, wat hulle verwelkom in vlot Hollands, so een slim ou ding. En hierachter sit Saarki Baartman en Dag en so yes, for all these years, we believed this to be true, and now I must tell you that this picture is also a lie. No one can keep a hat on in the southeaster wind. And so, I'm afraid, that is the story of our history. One lie after the other. Jan van Riebeek on Woodstock Beach. You can't blame him, of course, for being confused, because Jan van Riebeek wasn't only Dutch, he was also stupid. He didn't remember his instructions, and they were so clear. Just before he left Holland, they found him and they said to him, Jan, when you reach your destination, take a stone and build a station. Neem in kluit en bou in stasie. All he could remember was, neem in meid en bou in nasie. <laughs> and of course, that's what happened. But really, truly, one can't blame Jan van Riebeek for starting all the trouble because that's all he knew what to do. He was a foreigner on African soil, and yet looking back, he started all the trouble. Within nine months, the first true colored person was born. Evita, Evita, and you know what we mean. Evita, Evita, always on the scene. Evita, Poseidon, oh, Evita should be queen.